Hi, I'm Isabel Morrison, Community Navigator in the Western Isles. Um, we we're just having a discussion with Deborah, uh, whose father has had a device called the Comp. Uh, the Comp is a device uh, which is a one screen, and it it's really for people who have no digital skills or limited digital skills. It's easy to use, and it's just like a television screen. Um, and Deborah's going to tell us a wee bit about her experience of it. And Deborah was involved, uh, her father um, was involved in what's called the Kuna project was to do with a memory impairment and found out about the comp in that way. So Deborah might fill us in a bit more about how her and her family, her father in particular, has found the comp. Over to you, Deborah. Yes. Um, my dad was involved in the Kumna project. Um, they used to go out for trips um, on the buses and they would go into cafes and visit museums and art galleries and they all had a good time. So they were feeling quite connected um, with the outside world. But obviously during lockdown, um, he's become increasingly um, isolated and family, apart from myself and my husband, live a long way away. So when I heard about the comp through Kumya, I asked if I could possibly get the loan of one for my dad to see if he would like it, because we had already been given um, for him one of these iPad type devices and he struggled to use that. He could only use it if, um, if one of the carers or myself was with him. So quite often he would push the wrong button and lose the video and, and uh, get frustrated. Um, so he decided he didn't like it very much. Um, so when we got the comp, um, Isabel came in to help us and Annie was there too to support us and uh, we set it all up um, and it was fairly straightforward wasn't it Isabel? It was, it worked quite well when we set it up. It takes a wee bit of time to get used to the setting it up but I think once you've done it once it's quite straightforward. Yes, I think so. So, um, I was a bit concerned at first when I realised that I had to kind of be in charge of the app and who got who got the, the codes to use it. But I realised that that's a really important thing because it means that um, I can make sure that only the people who we want to talk to him or send messages to him can do so. So it protects him and ourselves quite well. Um, so uh, when, as soon as we set it up, um, I sent him some pictures on there and he decided at first that he didn't like it very much um, because he thought it was a television and he doesn't want a television, um, but I explained to him that it wasn't a television, that it was just purely for us to video call him or to send messages or photographs. And I said that um, I would be able to add some of his family on there. So we added my son and my sister and my dad's sister onto there immediately. and with quite a lot of hassle from them they eventually did manage to download the app and use their codes and they went on and they did video call him now he he was amazed at the quality of the picture um that he was seeing of them sometimes the picture that they see gets a little bit foggy to do with maybe the weather but always the picture here 
on his screen is very clear, um, very good quality. And it points to where he normally sits. So basically, as long as we know it, he's going to get a video call, he can be sitting in that chair and it can see the whole of him sitting in the chair, which is really good. He doesn't have to touch anything. Um, obviously, he needs to make sure it's on before he can receive any video calls. The main thing about it is I found that it's very, very good for communicating things for if we want to remind him. For instance, today he was getting a new carer going in. So I sent, with her permission, I sent his her picture to him last night a couple of times, one with a message, a text message on it saying what her name was and that she was coming in with me at 10 o'clock in the morning to visit him and I had already talked to him and told him as well but this was a reminder so that he would realize that this was happening so then That's at 10 a good idea Deborah. It's, a, it's a very very good tool for things like that it's a really good tool um do, so do you think um the community navigator with empower was useful to you though in the setup and finding out about the device very much so very much so, yes. And I was overwhelmed at how good it was. So I decided to do a fundraising event and uh, I've set up a Just Giving page so that my dad can have one of his own so that that one can go back on loan to Empower so that they can then put it into someone else's home. And I'm hoping that we can get more than one. Uh, we've got enough money now to buy his, which I've ordered. I also then Brilliant. want to get more than his. I want to get at least three in the community so that when that one has been into people's homes, they can see if they like it. And if they do, they can have one until, you know, until they need it. And then it can go back to Empower again. So I think you mentioned that your father, um, you had a nice story to tell about a recent birthday. Oh, it was wonderful. My auntie, his sister, and him, they haven't seen each other for years. And it was her birthday. And uh, she video called him. I told her she was going, I told him she was going to. She video called him and she opened all of her birthday presents with him. She blew out the candles on her birthday cake with him. And it meant so much to both of them. It was just amazing. That is Absolutely. amazing. It was wonderful. Brilliant. So what what were the um, what were the other good things you found about the comp? It's easy. Are you finding it easy to use now? Um, yes. Um, that first initial getting the family to set it up was a nightmare because my auntie sent her text code to my son as well because she didn't know how to do it. So it ended up with him being confused and not knowing that she didn't have one as well, thinking she had one. Mm -hmm. um, but once I explained to them all that their code was each individual to them and they only use their code, um, once they did it that first time, it's a lot easier then so it's just reminding them now and again to send him a picture or to send him a little text message or to video him if it's on or to phone him up beforehand and say, I'm going to phone you. I'm going to video call you on the comp. Could you turn it on, please? So then he does. And then you can then talk to him on that and say to him to put the phone down. So it works really, really well. He doesn't always remember the things that he's talked to people about on there because he ha his dementia has declined quite a lot. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be useful to him, but um, certainly at this stage now, and if he'd had it a year ago, I think it would have been even better if we'd known about it, but. Well, that's fantastic, Deborah. Thanks very much for taking the time to join us today and tell us about the comp and how the comp um, 
made a difference to your family. Um, is there any kind of key messages or, as you say, you wish you'd had it a year ago that you would then like to pass on to people that are interested in the comp? Yes, um, I think it should be, um, it, more awareness should be all over the place about the comp because it's very little known about it. Um, there should be more awareness and there should be more availability for people to have the loan of one and to be able to get one afterwards if they can't afford to, to rent one or buy one them for themselves. So, yeah, I think it's really important. It's not just for people with dementia. Um, I would say there's a lot of people, I've worked with adults with special needs before. I think it would be really, really helpful for some of them who are isolated um, and really helpful for people who just can't do technology you know who who just obviously they would have to have wi-fi in the house but they wouldn't even need to know it's there you know they just switch this on and then their family can talk to them from all over the world yeah uh, yeah you need wi-fi and the family members need to add the app to their um phone so it does take a wee bit of getting used to but once you're in on it um it's got f different functions to it you can send pictures videos uh you can video call to it i mean um and you can keep the you can keep the pictures for two days or i think you can change the settings now there's a new yeah. feature on it um yeah, so to keep, keep them, them up for to a week. Us. yeah i think there's an infinity setting on it now deborah is there yeah, I think if you go down and have a look, there's two days, five days, and see at the bottom, there's a wee um, thing at the bottom, and you, you go to that, and it's an infinity setting, so you can keep oh. the pictures. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah, but once you remove somebody from the comp, it all disappears. You mm -hmm. you kind of, you'd have to save the pictures to your own kind of separate devices. There's no, the comp doesn't have a function to save pictures. I must admit, I'm worried about when he gets his new one and we have to swap them over to the new one because I'm going to have to start dealing with all the family again and getting them to download the app again. So that that bit worries me. <laughs> well, I think that, Empower, Empower are there to help you anyway. Um, <laughs> I think you've done it once, so you're a pro now. You're the expert now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks very much for joining us today with Deborah talking about her comp um, interviewed by Isabel, the community navigator within Empower.